what is up candle gang we are back for another one thank you guys for joining me um those of you who joined me the other day we made this um spaghetti candle and then i was thinking what is spaghetti without a salad so hope you guys take the time watch the video make sure you like comment and subscribe if you actually do like the video and got anything out of it also, if you get a chance, please check out my products at theninatreatment.com. Enjoy. All right, y'all. Welcome back. We are making a green salad today. Um, the other day, I made a spaghetti candle. And, of course, I was sitting up thinking, like, you know, what is a spaghetti candle without the salad? So, here we go. This is a mainstay bowl that I got from Walmart. Those wicks were a size 8 eco wick. And you can see I'm using the block dies from Flaming Candle. Right now we're going to build the base of the salad, which is the actual salad leaves. Um, and we are just cutting, as you can see. And I got those aluminum pans from the Dollar General, and I got three of them for a dollar. I want to say if you go to Dollar Tree, they're two for one twenty-five. So. A little bit cheaper at the Dollar General, so you kind of got to shop around. And I use these a lot. If you put your heat gun to it, then you can use them over and over again. They are thin, so they get hot. But if you don't puncture it, you can use them over and over again. Um, so we're just pouring a little bit of um, ProBlend 650. I believe I use ProBlend 650. Yeah, I use ProBlend 650 through the whole thing except for when I did the salad dressing. That was ProBlend 600. Now, this is aluminum foil. It is a heavy duty um, Reynolds. It's not the cheap one because you can put holes in the cheap one really um, easily. And you get 50 square feet for like 375 at least at the Dollar General. It might be cheaper at Walmart or something. But I'm just kind of crunching it up a little bit. And then I'm folding the sides in just so that when you do pour the wax in it, it won't overflow. And this is how we're going to make the leaves. Guys, I saw this from a um, video that I saw on TikTok. And I believe the young lady was making a burger. And so I was like, oh my God, I do still, I've made so many molds that have um, like vegetables that I've never used because I dehydrate vegetables and then I'll make a mold out of it. And then, so this was like the perfect time to use it. So now you're just seeing me pour the wax over that foil. Um, and then I'm going to freeze it. I'm going to move it just to the side. But then as it sets a little bit, I'm going to freeze it just because for the length of the video, um, it gets kind of timely when you're making so many things at once. Of course, it's easier once you start mass producing it and like you just sit up all day and just make the lettuce, make the lettuce. But for the purpose of the video to show you guys how to do it, it's time consuming. So you have to kind of do the video in order that things freeze and are ready to go. So the even though the video kind of might have seemed out of sorts, it's just easier to do it this way. For me, anyways. Anyway, so this is just a repeat process over and over again. I'm using the lime green and I'm using the hunter um, green. The good thing about making a salad is that the colors don't all have to be the same. If you get a darker leaf, then of course, if you've ever eaten a salad, you know there are dark leaves, light leaves. You can add purple leaves to it. You can flip it how you want to flip it. I really wanted to add some red onion in it, but I did not feel like making a mold, nor I guess I could have like figured out a way to do it, but it was hard in my head to do so. So. I didn't end up adding purple onion, but for the next time or red onion, next time I will. So anyways, I'm just doing that. Um, this lime green here, um, actually I might still be making some more. Yeah, I think I'm still making some more lettuce leaves. Sorry for the background guys, I'm outside. You guys know I homeschool my kids. Um, it's Friday, so they're out of class early. And it's windy here. It's about to rain, but it feels so good outside. And I figured I'd come outside and sneak away to kind of do the audio portion of this instead of waiting until the evening when they're asleep. 
might as well just get it done now and then I can get it uploaded and enjoy the rest of my weekend. I hope you guys can do the same. All right, so we are still um, repeating this process over and over again. I think that's foil from the one that I did the other day. Um, I did a test candle that actually didn't have any wicks. So this is actually my first candle um, with wicks. And I'll show you at the end what I think about it. I'm not sure if I prefer to just maybe make this a scoopable candle. I'm not going to burn it for a few days, so I won't even see how it burns for a while. Or, you know, you can make it to where it's just a candle that you sit on a warmer and it burns down. Uh, it's just, once you see how I layer it, then you'll understand what I'm trying to say right now. Otherwise, I think I just showed you that I stuck one in the freezer, still kind of um, setting a little bit. So we're going to move on to the cucumbers. I'm going to link in the description box below um, how I made molds out of silicone and dish soap. But that is a mold that I ended up making. Only difference that I did was my cucumbers. I think I dehydrated those just a little bit um, in order to get that them to stay in the mold. Um, and so you can get a little bit of detail of the seeds and stuff. I didn't add um, any color, I believe, to that one. Just what was left in that pan. I might have picked up some from the brown paper that I had and just added just a little bit, but you just want it to be lightly green. At least I did for like a more realistic look. And then I'm going to add, that's a bowl that I got from um, Amazon. I got like 20 of them and I use them for my miniature Fruit Loops, but now that I'm creating stuff, I just kind of use whatever <laughs> I have. So I added that because later you're going to see me color the outside of the cucumber. I'm going to add some more dye to that and we're going to use that for the outside of the cucumber. I try to use all of the wax that I use and try not to be wasteful with anything. Alright, so we're cutting red dye now and we're going to make some tomatoes. Again, we're using a mold that I made previously out of silicone. I have never ever used this mold and I've never used it because it's very hard to get the um, the embed out of. So every time I try to use it, I break it. And so for this one, of course, for a salad, you can use broken tomatoes. So I was like, you know what? I am going to pull this thing out and see how it works. And then it's all uneven as you can see. I can't even get all of the dye in there or it's going to run over. But you guys, you can improvise with anything that you do. I promise you, if you get the color just right, then a lot of times you can make anything look, I mean, believable. It's still going to look a little bit fake, but you want it to look as realistic as you can get it. And if you use your kids, so kids are brutally honest. And my kids will tell me, uh-uh, mom, that looks too plastic. Uh-uh, mom, this. So they'll tell you kind of where you need to tweak it. Anyways, that's another golden honey that we're using from Flame and Candle. And this is going to be used to make the croutons. Ooh, this wind is kicking up, but it feels so good. Hope it doesn't interrupt the sound too much. But anyways, um, this is golden honey that we're using. And this is going to create our... Um, what am I trying to say? Croutons. Those are going to be our croutons. And we're going to wait until they turn into, they solidify a little bit so they can turn into crumbles. All right. So now our lettuce is finally ready and we're just unmolding it from the foil. And all you see me doing is just turning the foil over, poking it out, and just pulling it, the wax out of it. I can honestly say I don't like the thicker looking leaves, but... It's less breakage with the thicker leaves than the thinner leaves. Um, so it's just really preference. If you pour it a little bit thinner, I feel like it gives you more of the lettuce feel. But however you layer it, honestly, is going to determine the look of your um, candle. And so you'll see in a little bit um, what it looks like once we start to actually build the candle and layer it. All right, it's starting to look a little bit more um, like we're making the crumbles here now for the croutons. And it's starting to look a little bit more, but it still needs to solidify. So I'll probably sit this to the side and come back to it. And then we're going to move on to something else.
All right, so we're going to move on to coloring the outside of those cucumbers. Um, I'm just adding a little bit more of the hunter green. And then I'm going to take my heat gun to it and make a big mess. And then I added a little bit of black because cucumbers on the outside are really dark. I wasn't going to even dress, do anything to the cucumbers, but my son was like, Mom, those cucumbers don't look real. We're about the outside. And I'm like, well, what if somebody already shaved the outside? He was like, well, you don't ever shave the outside. I was like, okay, fine. So <laughs> that's why we ended up putting a little bit of... Um, we're going to put the dye around it. And all I'm going to do is just dip the sides into it over and over again until I go all the way around the cucumber. And then I use craft paper from Walmart, that brown paper. And I want, it's not even craft paper. That brown paper that you see on the bottom there is, I think, from the shipping area from Walmart. And it's pretty cheap, but it helps for an easy cleanup because I make a lot of mess when I play around with candles and then it always takes me about a few tries to get it right and there you go I am just going to dip it in there I think I was going to mess with the crumbles for a second but it still wasn't quite ready so and then all of this dye I, I mean excuse me all of the wax is like 650 right now so 650 you know it can get a little bit hot but it cools really fast so that is you want to make sure that it cools so it doesn't melt your cucumbers but it doesn't take long at all to cool it cools really really fast um as opposed to like regular soy which takes a long time for it to solidify and that's it. I almost probably made the outside of those cucumbers a little too dark. Um, the first salad that I made, it didn't look as dark. But again, if you place it around it perfectly, then it won't stick out too bad. I think we're our own worst critics. It's just something that when I go back and watch the videos, I like to be mindful of how I can always improve something. And that's what I would do to improve that. All right, looks like our crumbles are ready. And <laughs> so this is a mold that I made for caramels. I don't know what idea I had to make caramel apples, but I made these little caramel pieces and I put them inside of that mold and I was going to do something with it. Never did anything with it. But I was like, you know what? I found it. Let me see if these would make the perfect croutons. Now, fastest thing would have been for me to just mold those croutons and make them into squares myself um but i thought i was going to put it inside of the mold set it to the side move on with something else i did not end up doing it i ended up messing with them almost immediately but either way it goes i was determined to use that mold for something since i've never used it for anything so this is the perfect thing to use it for if you wanted to make some croutons <laughs> anyway so that's what I'm doing now. Um, and then I'm all, I'm such a perfectionist. Like I even wanted to put like little green specks in it. Like how croutons always have the little spices and stuff in it. But that was just doing too much. But I probably will next time. Alright. So this is a tomato mold that I was talking about. That I can never get to come out without breaking it. I don't care how long I sit it in there, if I take it out early, if I take it out late. It's just the way I molded it was not good. But either way it goes. Um, I want you guys to take a quick minute and listen for my word from our sponsor. Um, and our sponsor today is Queen Theatrics. So I want you guys to check out this video. Alright gang, so this video is sponsored by Queen Theatrics. Um, she makes these beautiful resin coasters which you see I actually use them um, as a display for my candles. Um, she sent me three of them. They are so beautiful. Um, I don't know if you can see these. They have glitter. I would have all three, but I actually use them in some of my videos for my bubble candles. Um, I love them. She also does uh, nails. And these are the uh, temporary nails. I don't know what you call them, but... You um, pop them on and they come with the full kit. I actually don't use them for my videos because as you see, my hands get real filthy making these candles. But I do use them for 
um, my displays whenever I'm taking pictures of my products. So make sure you guys go check her out. They are hand done. They are detailed. They come with rhinestones. Um, you can do sports team, all kinds of things. Dude, I mean, anything that can be um, themed for holidays. Again, she did a pair of sports team for me, and that was the Lakers. I love them. Um, they are gone, though, however, when I moved. I'm not sure where they I still have them. I just don't know where they are right now. She did send my husband one of these ashtrays for you guys that are 420 uh, friendly. He uses it every day. I actually had to clean it out because he's already used it. But and anyways, make sure you check her out at queentheatrics.com. Again, I will leave her information in the description box below. She does have an IG. She does have a Facebook. But I'll make sure you guys get all of that information. Hope you guys go check her out. All right. So now we are unmolding those um, crumble croutons. And they still kind of came out warped again. They were warm when I was still playing with them, so it was just easier for me to just mold them with my hand and just pull the excess off of it. Um, thought it was a good idea in this candle game, you know, that you find and improvise in ways and that you can. So, uh, anyways, now it is time to go ahead and make this candle. We are taking our green leaves and just placing them um wherever we see we can as you can see like some of them naturally have a curve to the bottom of them or they're straight on the bottom so i just try to go with the curve where i can it's so funny because as you're making it you're like what is this foolishness that i'm trying to do this looks nothing like i thought it would in my head but as you continue to keep layering and layering it it really does start to like look a little bit more realistic as you start to add stuff to it so as you look at it you can see that there's still quite a bit of air in this candle so which is why I'm not for certain that it's gonna work out really good when you start to burn it it may be better as a scoopable candle it may be better if you just sit it on a wax melter and just kind of allow it to burn down that way but um, I'm still going to try to burn it, see what it does. I still may add like more salad dressing or something to it so that I can get some of the air out of it. Um, but it was just, I felt it turned out too good for me to not make a video and show you um, how it ended up working out in the end. Otherwise, we are just still placing all of this stuff around it to kind of make it come to life as a candle. And then you can just play it. There's so much you can add to it, like carrots. I wanted to add some nuts. If you want to take the strawberries out, I mean, excuse me, take the tomato out and add strawberry for color. Or you can just have like Roma tomatoes in it or cherry tomatoes. There's just so many different things. Olives, all kind of stuff you can do to this salad. And so I'm excited at the possibilities, really. Um, you can have some blue cheese crumbles instead of parmesan on top. A lot of stuff that you can do. Either way it goes, as you can see, I start to turn, flip the um, leaves over. As you can see, those are the ones that are going to be laying on top. Um, again, just still adding everything to it. Before I start to pour the salad dressing on top. And I still, like, my goal is always to make a working candle. So, I really do try my best to make a working candle. I did not scent this candle. I do have a green grass, which is the scent that it's going to be. But I'm not going to scent it until I'm starting to make, like, mass produce it. Like, trying to do it right now is just kind of hard enough. But, um, that's Parasoy 600 and I'm just pouring it at the bottom so that the leaves at the bottom kind of stick to it and then it's still too thin but I'm still going to pour it in kind of the crevices over the wick trying to um, place all of that stuff together so that everything sticks so if you turn it over then, it, then nothing will fall out of it gonna add a little bit of cheese right now and again this is just leftover um, Parasoy 650 that I'm using a cheese grater right there as you can see and I think I got the cheese grater from the Dollar Tree 
And now I've done nothing different but sit that um, wax there for just a little bit longer. And as you can see, it's thickened already. And so now it actually looks like salad dressing. And then now I'm going to add a little bit more cheese on top. And guys, that's it. That's the candle. I thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did learn something or if you did enjoy the video, if you could just give me a like. If you can leave a comment and just share the video. Um, I always appreciate it. And then if you guys want to check out any of my products, you can at TheNinaTreatment.com. Guys, enjoy your day.